traveling the world now for nearly four years. So we thought it was about time we put together some videos to show you how much it costs us to travel the world. Yeah. So this is our first video in that series. And this summer we spent eight weeks traveling in Eastern Europe. It was our first time exploring this region and it's definitely one we want to return to. Our trip took us from Croatia through Hungary, Slovakia and the Czech Republic. But how much did it cost? On this trip to Eastern Europe, we were on a mission to travel as cheaply as we could because our travel funds were running quite low. So we used um, the following strategies to keep our travel costs down. Yep, we travelled exclusively by bus from country to country. And when we were in a particular country, we used the public transport there, such as trams, trains, uh, buses and ferries. Secondly, we booked cheap accommodation through Airbnb, which for us, because we travel as a couple, is usually cheaper than hostels and hotels. We even booked an apartment through Airbnb in Croatia for a month and got quite a good discount. And otherwise, we stayed in rooms in people's houses. Yep, we also try eating on the cheap. So uh, we keep our food costs down by shopping in supermarkets, uh, bakeries and local markets for breakfast and lunch. We'd normally buy pastries, uh, fruit, bread and cheese. Because we had our own apartment in Split, that meant we could eat in. Uh, so we cooked quite a lot at home there. Um, but we did still eat out quite often, um, especially when we had friends who were joining us in Prague and Split. We weren't afraid to treat ourselves either, um, so we got quite a bit of ice cream and delicious pastries. We took advantage of free sightseeing activities, so we didn't book any expensive tours and we just explored on foot independently, which is the cheapest way to do it. Um, we did have to pay some entrance fees for museums and different attractions, but we picked carefully which ones we wanted to see. So now we're going to give you a breakdown of how much we spent in each country we visited. First up was Croatia, where we spent three days exploring Dubrovnik before heading down the coast to Split, where we rented an apartment for five weeks. All our accommodation in Croatia averaged about £17 per night. We got a 20% discount for staying in our apartment for over a month, and it was a little bit cheaper because it was just before peak season too. Using our apartment in Split as a base, we explored the Dalmatian coast, the local islands and Split's old town. A friend from the UK visited for a week, and we shared the cost of car hire for four days to drive up the coast and visit Kirka National Park. We took local ferries to Bratch and Havar Island, and local buses in and out of Split Old Town. Our transport for Croatia cost £90 for our share of the car hire, £51.50 for ferries, £75 for buses, and £31.50 for taxis. We ate well by shopping at nearby Lidl and Croatian supermarkets and cooking at home. However, we also ate out. We had lots of pizza, which is a local dish in Croatia, and quite a few meals in Croatian taverns, as well as delicious pastries from bakeries and lots of ice cream. Our food costs came to £8.74 per day for two people. Sightseeing was mostly free and involved lots of walking or driving around. The only entrance fees we paid were for Kirka National Park, which was £11.50 each, £2.10 per person to go up Split's Bell Tower, and for the Dubrovnik City Walls we paid £12.65 per person. Here are our final costs for Croatia. For accommodation, £678. For food, £341. For transport, £248, activities, £52.50, and our total cost for five and a half weeks for two people in Croatia came to £1,366.70. Next, we took a coach from Split to Hungary's capital city Budapest, where we stayed for a week. The coach journey cost us £53 for both of us. We stayed in an Airbnb place again, this time just a room in a shared flat on the outskirts of the city. This did include breakfast and it cost just £11.30 per night. We got around by bus and tram um, and we found it was cheaper to buy a batch of 10 tickets at a time for £8, which you could then validate on the bus or the tram. As we had breakfast for free every day, we saved money on that and usually bought our lunch from a supermarket or the local central market for a couple of pounds. 
This load of fruit from the central market, for example, costs just £1.75. In the evenings, we ate out usually in the Jewish quarter and found some really nice, cheap falafel and pasta meals. Um, our total for food per day in Budapest came to £12.96 for both of us. We did a lot of sightseeing in Budapest, so we had to spend some money on entrance fees. The Terror Museum cost us £10.60 for two people, and it was £25 to go to the Shosheni Baths. So in total, our seven days in Budapest cost £293.70. If you break that down, we spent £79 on accommodation, £18 on the transport, £90 on food and £61 on activities. Then we moved on to Bratislava in Slovakia for a week. The bus from Budapest cost £14.65 for two people. Again, we stayed in an Airbnb room in a shared house. It wasn't the nicest place we've stayed in, but it was fine for a week and cost £15.30 per night. As usual, we got around by taking the bus into the centre of the city from our accommodation in the outskirts. Bratislava is small enough to walk around quite easily, but we did take the bus out to Devon Castle one day. We quickly realised that we didn't need a whole week to explore Bratislava. So we also took a day trip to Vienna in Austria, which is a really bustling grand city we'd love to go back and revisit. Our total transport costs for Bratislava, including our trip to Vienna, came to £45.31 for two people. We did find that food was more expensive in Bratislava, this meant that to cut costs, we did try to eat most of our meals at home, um, buying food from the supermarket. If we did eat out, a typical lunch would cost between 15 and 20 pounds for two people. Our total food costs for the week in Bratislava came to 130 pounds and 24 pence. Sightseeing in Bratislava was super cheap. We mostly wandered around exploring the city. However, we did pay three pounds 40 each to get into Devon Castle and two pound 10 for the town hall tower. Here are our total costs for one week in Bratislava. Food came to £130.24. Accommodation was £107. Transport, including a trip to Vienna, cost £45.31. Activities cost £11.05. And we had some miscellaneous costs of £10.08. So that makes a total of £303.68. Our last stop in Eastern Europe was Prague, which happened to be our favourite stop too. We really, really loved that city. We took the coach again from Bratislava to Prague and that cost £14.65 for two people. We stayed in our nicest Airbnb shared house in Prague and it cost us £18 per night. Our Airbnb host was really nice and he sold us some monthly tram passes, which meant that we could both get around the city for less than £2 a day. Um, we did take the train out to the Bone Church in Kutnahara one morning too, so our total transport costs came to £24.47 for two people. The food in Prague was delicious and as our friend Jo was visiting us we ate out every evening and we went to some really nice vegetarian restaurants as well as some traditional Czech pubs which is really nice. Um, but we balanced this out with some cheap breakfasts and lunches from the supermarkets as usual. We really liked the cheap chimney cake snacks that you could buy in the street for about £2 and a pint of beer in the evening actually cost less than water because it was around £1. Most of our activities in Prague were free, we just wandered around the city and had a great time doing that. Um, but we did pay £4.65 each to go up St Vitus Tower and also £8.45 per person to visit the Bone Church. So in total for our five day trip to Prague, we spent £111.35 on food, £89 on accommodation, £24.47 on transport and £14.86 on activities. So our total costs for five days in Prague came to £240.6 for two people. So we think we did quite well in keeping our Eastern European travel costs down, especially because we covered quite a lot of ground, we went to four countries and we did a lot of sightseeing. Um, I don't think like, we missed out on anything and we had a really good time. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Our cheapest country turned out to be Croatia, but that's no surprise really considering we had an apartment and we were able to cook at home and we weren't out every day exploring the city or the country. Our most expensive destination was Prague, 
but we didn't mind paying a bit extra for that because we absolutely love Prague and we thought it was worth the extra expense. If you break down our costs per month, our trip came to about £1,200 for two people. Now if you compare that to our travels in Asia, that's only about £100 more per month. The only difference is we do get a bit more for our money in Southeast Asia. Um, we don't have to stay in rooms in shared houses, for example. We have our own hotel rooms or guest house rooms. And we eat out a lot more often, have massages, things like that. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more travel cost videos, just let us know in the comments below. Yeah, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Bye. Bye.